Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Negative-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 49. NASDAQ is off 230. S&P is off 32. Gold. Gold contract up $10.70, trading at 1668 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $19.47 an ounce. Light Street crude up 268. $88, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 13 ticks, trading 110.31. The 30-year up a full point, plus eight ticks at 121.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 1,200 ticks, 109.750. The euro is par, one to one. The yen is 146.29, and the British pound is at 116 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got volatility in spades. No doubt about that. Take a look at the SPY first. What do you have out here? SPY. S-P-Y. We take a look at this. the SPY. What do you have with the SPY right now? SPY's down 320. You have uh, 71 million shares. Yesterday, you did uh, 78, and you're coming into... 106. The cool thing is, folks, you can have a higher price and you can have higher volume. That still says we go higher. That's in the spy. Well, if we go, let's go into the futures now because this has been a really wild day, meaning you had the futures down, come all the way back up, and come all the way back down. And bottom line is that what you're going to see here, you know, bottom line, we hit, uh, let's see, on this bar. We're nine minutes into the buy, still don't have enough volume. Bottom line is that what you have out here, you get 32,000 contracts. Well, you go, you're going into 100,000 contracts. So bottom line, my take is that we're still going to try to run back topside as we're getting into this close, which is really deviant. But guess what? That move this morning was about as deviant as it can get, which is a beautiful thing. you got to pay attention to the dollar, man. The dollar is running the, 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 the whole ball of wax. We go to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. This buy here has... Uh, 11,000 contracts where you're going into 44,000. And even the swing point that's there is 10,000. So, you know, that took that. But guess what? It's the big number you're going into. So we'll see where the whole baby's going to shake out. But my take is that you're not going to close at the lows. We go take a look at the currencies. Okay, we get into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. Bottom line, you can see this is a decisive break, man. You know, you broke with conviction. Uh, what we also just did, which is really cool, you already broke the swing. You know, bottom line, the swing, the swing had support. The swing strong, 110.065. You're at 109.723. What that sets up, you'll probably first, they should get a little support at 109.295. Uh, so that's like 500 ticks from where we are. And then, guess what? Game here is all the way down to this 104.636. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold contract rejected um, 16.53 this morning. We have uh, 178,000 contracts. It's not great. Really, I'm looking for over 200,000 contracts. Not bad. It's not great. You know, yesterday we did, let's see, this is a spike. A spike has 171. So at least we're taking the last little swing point out from Monday with volume, which is, which is good. That's, that's the bottom line. And then if we go into notes and bonds. Notes and bonds, folks, these are counter-trend moves. Uh, bottom line, we take a look at this, and you're going to see the contraction of volume. But I expect you're going to go up for a bit. You know, you can, you can see that this is a 10-year. The 10-year right now, you got 1.4 million contracts. You know, you're coming into 2.7. But I suspect this is going to bounce for a bit. I mean, that's how, that's how these markets are set up right now. Meaning... Um, you know, dollar pulling back, these things, they look to me like they continue to still want higher price. We go to the Dow. Well, here, let's do the small caps because there's the small caps. 
the IWM and the, uh, oh no, I'm gonna go here, watch this. You gotta go to the, to the composite, because this, this is not a tricky one, but the NASDAQ composite, folks, isn't a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And what it is, is this, so check this out. It might turn into a complex one, we'll see. The B point here is 10,972, and we're right at it, okay? So this is what we did. So you take the B point, which is the 18th um, of October, and then we take yesterday, okay? So the bottom line, that's the 25th. So, <coughs> excuse me, folks. You're gonna see this, 18th versus the 25th. Yesterday, we did 5.1 billion, 18th, 5 billion. That's an ABC structure up. Deviant, oh man, it's deviant. You're gonna love it, man. Deviant markets are so where it's at because what happens, folks, when you are running fast markets, bottom line, you know, these FIB numbers, Price and volume seems to work a lot better. That's the real bottom line. We go to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX. What do you have inside the GDX out here this morning? This afternoon, rather. Still needs more volume. We're getting close to the swing. The swing's 26.11, you're at 25.03. Um, you know, I wanna see more volume. Yesterday was nice. Yesterday was 28 million, but the bottom line is that we're only at uh, 17 million now. And if you wanna see uh, bottom line, how, you know, we've shown this before. When you want to get breaks topside or downtown, the bottom line is that when you're pushing a swing with volume, most of the time you're going to take it out. Look at this yesterday. Yesterday, 4.3 million shares. It was going into 3.6. And, you know, Archer Daniels, they blew out today. You know, the bottom line, that, that's, that's going to be an ABC structure up. That's how this is shaken out because of the, let me just make sure of this. But I don't believe that was even a 50. Yeah, it's a 50% retracement. So the bottom line is you get um, Archer Daniels Midland, you get an ABC structure on the way up. And that's where this baby wants to go. So some of the higher volume, well, here, let's go look at Microsoft, because Microsoft and Google, they basically, you know, took everything south, bottom line. Microsoft right now, 67 million shares traded. You're going into uh, 42. Now, this, well, Microsoft, this is, so check this out. If you can't take that swing point out down below, Microsoft's gonna go higher. 219, 219 is the number. You know, you come down, bottom line is that, yeah, you come down with volume, but I've learned that if you can't take a swing point out when you get close to it, guess what? You're gonna go to a higher price. We take a look at Google. Google, Google came down. That's coming down to the swing. So the swing on Google, 95.27. Oh, we took it out. That's, that's trouble for Google. That's a different ballgame. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.